Hi, right, today I'm looking at um, how to increase the height of the logo in uh, the WordPress theme B theme. Um, so I'm just going to increase the, the depth or the height of this navigation section because I want a bigger logo. And you'll find that a lot of clients uh, like having their logo as large as possible. Um, and it's the only place on the website where the logo appears. So I think it's a good idea to have the logo quite big. So unfortunately, there's no um, default setting in the B theme options to increase the size of the header or the, or the menu section. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to do it by editing some CSS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the logo and inspect the element. And see so if I hover over this um, code section here, this is what this is uh, on the left is the HTML um, for this home page. And on the right here are the styles that make the website look uh, pretty and uh, look a certain way. So I'll right click on the logo, inspect element. And then what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for something that says how tall this logo section, this uh, section is here. So I've got a hundred percent here, but that's not correct. I'm looking for an actual amount. So it's, I can see it's not uh, coming up anywhere. So I'm going to just click on one div up. So this logo is a div or it's in a div, but that div is probably in another div. Uh, it's like having a box in a box, if that makes sense. So I'm going to click on the outer box and scroll back up to the top here. And the the name of this box or div is hashtag top underscore bar. And inside that box or, or div is um, another one called hashtag logo. So hashtag is... Whenever you see a hashtag and a name, it's actually refers um, to the ID. Um, so anyway, I can see that it's the height of this div here. Uh, if I just hover over it again, see there's the box is 60 pixels high. So, and there's padding, you can see there's padding on the top and bottom. You can see it's slightly highlighted green. So I could, I could change the padding and see what that does. Okay, but the, it's increased the size of the padding only, not the logo size. So I'll go back to 15 and maybe let me change the size of the height here to 80. Okay, perfect. The logo is getting bigger. Um, what about 90? How does that look? Okay, so it looks like 80 is um, all we need. Maybe we can even try smaller. Okay, looks like 74 is the perfect amount before it starts um, decreasing in size here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this whole section here. Copy that and go into my B theme options. Go to custom CSS and JavaScript and paste it right there but I only edited uh, the height here so I don't add the other things so I'm just going to remove the things that I don't need and only add this the bit that I edited uh, I'm going to save that okay and I'm going to refresh this page perfect so you can see the logo is bigger than before but now what's happening is that the navigation tabs or pages um, are actually not centered in this navigation bar. They're actually a bit, they're raised slightly. So I want to fix that. So I'm going to right click again, inspect element and just check and see what's happening here. 
Okay, so... If I hover... Over this... Div... Oh, actually, it's not even a div, it's, um... It's the actual link. Um, I can see there's padding around it. So what I want to do is I just want to edit this padding until the t only the top and bottom of the, uh, of the padding, not the left and the right. I just want to edit that until it starts to become centered. So let's try 18. And just hover over here again. So there's still a bit more space at the bottom. So let me try 22. And okay, now it's fully uh, centered. Let's try 20. Okay, so 21, let's try that. So okay, so 22 is what we're looking for. And that's perfect. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna copy this section here. Go to our B theme options. Give ourselves some space. And save, paste, and then save. And I'm going to refresh this page. Okay, perfect. So now uh, this is nice and centered in this navigation action, uh, area. And now I want to... I've noticed that when you scroll down, um, for some reason these... Uh, these links at the top here, they, they get all squished. So I want to add space between them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again and change the padding between these. Um, so here I can see there's padding of 15 at the top and the bottom and on the left and right is zero. So we want to add to the left and to the right. So we can add uh, 10, let's try 10 pixels, see what that does. So it's a little bit squished for my liking. Um, I think 15 might be a nicer amount there. Or let's try 14. That's quite nice. Okay, so again, I'm just going to copy this. And paste it here. Save. and refresh this page and if I scroll down okay it's still got this really strange uh, padding here so let me right click again and see why it's not adding um, padding there even though we already asked it to if we go to my B theme options um, we did in fact ask it to okay that's why when we, we actually this particular type of uh, HTML is ref uh, refers to the media queries. So what it's saying here is that when the screen is at a minimum width of 1240 pixels, so any time that my screen, which is this here, is larger than 1240 pixels, so I'm going up. Here is where it's about 1240 pixels. That's what it's saying. So the thing is, unfortunately, when you copy uh, from here, when you copy a media query from this section here, it doesn't add the correct HTML code. It's one of the rare occasions where it doesn't. So after after this section here, you just want to add a, a open curly bracket and then after the last curly bracket, the closing one, add another curly bracket, a closing curly bracket. I'm going to save that. And refresh the page. Okay, and now when we scroll down, perfect, there's some padding. Um, between these tabs here, which is really nice. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much.